Hello my beautiful girls and handsome boys. So you must be looking for fake news detection project. You must be looking for cool full stack fake news detection project. So you are right video, you are right channel. So please don't forget to subscribe this computer science project channel. And if you will go through uh, this YouTube channel, you will find many different types of project on different different domain. So now comes the main comes to the main point uh, which we are going to see that is fake news reduction through machine learning or you can say full stack fake news reduction through machine learning algorithm. So for this uh, after downloading this project folder then you have to go to simple visual studio code and then you have to go to your file and then open folder then you have to open this project folder. After this, you just have to click on app.py and then you have to click on open integrated terminal. When you will do, it will open like this and you have to give a command python app.py. Let me show you once again python app.py. So then you have to click on enter. So when you will do, you will get an output like this. So it is telling you running on this server or this HTTP link. So you just have to click on this. When you will do this project folder, uh, this project code, or you can say it will open, means the web page website will open. And then, so this is the front end, you can say the front web page of your uh, project. And in this, uh, you will get a small description about this fake induction through machine learning. And then suppose if you want to do prediction, you want that you want to go to the, uh, like you want to predict that news is fake or not. So what do you just go to this click on prediction or just click on here. So when you will do it will open a new page for your prediction. So again enter news headline when you will enter any news headline and when you click on the submit button you will get that your news is fake or real. Okay. So suppose that if I um, like take something uh, in news from anywhere and when I will uh, like give anything like uh, uh, PM Modi uh, lives in Pakistan okay suppose that if I give any like uh, news so when we click on here you will see this news headline is fake uh, but suppose that I want to check for any other means at one page you can check any number times of uh, news that those are uh, real news or uh, fake news headline so again, suppose that if I will uh, give anything like this, uh, that like uh, sub Jason Custom message on uh, terrorism, or suppose that if I want to uh, go for like fact check, which is of Trump and Clinton at Commander in Chief Forum, and I will click on this. So this uh, news is real. You can even check on internet. So this news was real. I think. Uh, see, fact check Trump and Clinton, the Commander in Chief. Chief. Uh, so th those news are on the internet. And suppose if I want to go for any other thing like uh, China uh, attacks India and destroyed anything you can give Mumbai. So when you will click on this, you will see this news is fake. So same as that, uh, here we are getting to know that which news is fake or real. But if we want to check that how we have made this project. So first of all, we have used front end and we, we have used the back end. So let me show you. So in, for front end, we have used HTML and CSS for back end. Uh, before making the back end, we have made the uh, this uh, machine learning model. And this machine learning model we have made on Jupyter Notebook. On this, uh, we have used uh, some machine learning libraries and then we have used the uh, this data set which is news.csv and after that we have done uh, analysis classification and then we have done testing and training and afterward we have applied the machine learning algorithm and then we have made the uh, you can say this model okay after making this model then we have done uh, python coding for integrating the model and the front end so in this we have integrated the model and the front end and when then we when we run this then our web page get launched like this okay so i hope you got to know about this project and if you need this project 
code or documents so you can reach out to me i will send you the code and document so thank you <laughs> and if you want any more project you can go through my youtube channel my website in youtube description and you will find more than 200 300 uh, computer science project on different domains and even if you want any freelancer or anything like you want like someone to make a project for you then i can help you for you for your project and please don't forget to subscribe this channel and like this video and thank you